This is problem number one for assessment number seven. In this problem it says find the slope of the curve y equals x squared minus 5x minus 3 at the point p, 3 comma negative 9, by finding the limit of the secant slopes through point p. Find the equation of the tangent line to the curve at point 3 negative 9. So what they want us to do is they want us to uh, find the limit of the secant slopes through point p. So they essentially want us to find the slope at the point p. And then they want us to write an equation that's tangent uh, to this curve at this point. So let's start with part a. And if we want to find the slope at this point, we're going to start by doing the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And so we take this, uh, we take this polynomial or quadratic here, and we're going to plug in x plus h into uh, this function. And our goal is to cancel out the h. If you notice here, when we take the limit as h approaches 0, if we plug 0 into the denominator, uh, I mean, we're going to divide by 0, so that's undefined. So what we need to do is cancel this h out, and uh, that's our goal. So we're going to take this x squared minus 5x minus 3, and have x plus h plugged into it along with x and then we're going to do some algebra to cancel this h out. So we're going to say that equals the limit as h approaches 0 and we're going to say x plus h squared minus 5 x plus h minus 3. That's just the f of x plus h part. I plug this in for the x and this in for the x here. Now I have to subtract the f of x, which is just the function, right? This is just f of x technically equals x squared minus 5x minus 3. So we're going to say minus x squared minus 5x minus 3. And that's all over h. Now this x plus h squared, I'm going to write that as x plus h. So this is just ditto for the limit x plus h times x plus h minus, I'm going to distribute 5x minus 5h minus 3 minus x squared plus 5x plus 3. That's all over h. As I go through, I can distribute to start with. So I'm going to take x times x, which is x squared x times h, which is xh, h times x, which is just another xh. Remember, you can flip those around, even though it's h times x, this can be written as x times h. And then h times h is h squared. The negative 5x and the 5x cancel, so I don't have to write those. The negative 3 and the 3 cancel, I don't have to write those. And I end up with minus 5h minus x squared all over h. Now I can combine some stuff together. This will be 2xh and this negative x squared cancels this x squared. So I end up with 2xh plus h squared minus 5h all over h. So now I can factor out an h uh, from, the, from each term in the top, and that'll be h 2x plus h minus 5 all over h. Now I can cancel the h's out, which was my goal to start with. So that's equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x. And then I can say plus 0, minus 5, is equal to 2x minus 5. So this is the expression for the slope at any point on this curve, x squared minus 5x minus 3. What I want to do now is I want to use this to find the slope at point P. So what's the slope? at P 
3 comma negative 9. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to say m equals this 2x minus 5. So 2 plug in the x value, which is 3 minus 5. And we end up with 6 minus 5, which is 1. So the slope at point P is 1. That's part A. That's what they were asking us for. Now part B, they want us to find the tangent line at P3, comma, negative 9. So we take the slope, which is uh, M equals 1, and we say Y equals 1X plus B. Plug in our coordinate 3 and negative 9, so negative 9 equals 1 times 3 plus B. So negative 9 equals 3 plus B. <clears throat> Subtract the 3. Negative 12 equals B, which means my equation is Y equals, I can just write this as X minus 12. This line is tangent to this curve at this point, P3 negative 9.